acts of salvation and given new birth through water and the Spirit. All this is God's gift, offered to us without price. As lay leader here at Trinity United Methodist Church, it is my honor and privilege this morning to welcome our newest member into baptism. Please welcome Meryl Lane. Meryl is presented by her parents, Tom and Stacy, and members of our congregation who live in Eaglewood. And uh, Meryl was born on the 8th day of February of this year. She comes down for Holy Baptism. <coughs> Tom and Stacy, on behalf of the whole church, I ask you to renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin. You accept the freedom and the power that God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves. You confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in His grace, and promise to serve Him as your Lord in union with the Church, which Christ is open to people of all ages, nations, and races. We nurture this precious child in Christ's holy Church, by your teaching and example, she may be guided to accept God's grace for herself, to profess her faith openly, and to lead a Christian life. You, as Christ's body of the church, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ. We do. Will you do. nurture one another in your Christian faith and life, include these persons before you in your care? With God's help, we will proclaim the good news and live according to the example of Christ. We will surround these verses with a community of love and forgiveness, that they may grow in their service to others. We will pray for them, that they may be true disciples, and walk in the way that leads to life. Let us pray. Loving God, in love we live before you, Marilyn, the family. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon them, and through your grace, they may live in faith and knowledge of you, and be the parents that will be enabled to set an example of loving and faithful parenting. Bless our congregation that together we may all support and encourage Meryl and her family in the baptismal vow they make today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 